What is up guys, Woody Alistair coming at you with another vlog. Today we're going to be going to Exclusive Collision. We're gonna go check on our parts, see if they're ready. We're gonna get with Mr. Augustine, check on them, bring them back and get them on the truck. As you can see, the truck is still torn down. I didn't wanna rush them or anything like that. We're going to be taking my single cab truck. It is a little dirty, so we might stop, get it cleaned up. That way it's not all dirty and it looks good on the video. So let's hop into the extended cab and let's go to Mr. Augustine over there at Exclusive Collision. So let's go. Alright guys, so we're here at Exclusive, we just pulled up. I can see that they're already working on the pieces, they're actually buffing them out, getting everything waxed. So we're gonna talk to him and see what he's doing. ¿Qué pasó, brother? ¿Tu día de descanso? Oh, mi día de descanso, no, papi. Yeah. No, papi, no, papi. I ain't your papi, put your head down. Yeah, hay que mantener la familia. <laughs> hey. Ese fue mi, mi experiencia de, de ese día de baby city, man. <laughs> Aún no me ha quitado el mandil, mira. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué estamos haciendo aquí? Pues aquí estamos terminando de puliéndola para que, que le quite la concha de naranja, así oh, la pintura no, 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 quede, no, sí, sí, sí. quede lisa. Eh, está mirando bien. Sí, está mirando bonita, mamá. Alright, guys, this is the front piece that's actually chrome. It's already red. My handles already got them painted. Everything's good to go. He's actually buff, buffing off that front pad. Uh, he's actually doing that to take off the orange peel that the paint does. So, man, guys, I can't wait to get these pieces on. I don't know if they're wet, that's why I don't want to touch them. But, guys, you can see the, the work that Mr. Augustine does and these guys here. Man, guys. I believe he's inside painting. He's inside the paint booth right now. So, once he gets out, we'll definitely talk to him, see what he did. Uh, here are the mirror caps. Damn, guys, it looks so good. Here's that top piece of the grill. Like I said, everything's already painted, so we're gonna definitely uh, check it out and see what he's done. He also said he did something extra for me, so we're gonna see what he did and uh, talk to him a little bit. Let's go ahead and wait for him. Oh, I believe here's my, uh, this is my back piece for the hitch. So yeah, guys, it looks really good. I can't wait to get these parts back on. We're gonna wait for Mr. Augustine to get out and see what he did. So let's go ahead and wait for him. Quiero que grabes esta parte. Es muy importante para que sepan cómo la cagamos a veces. ¿Qué pasó, Mike? Aquí el catracho perro, mira, verlo. Hasta el mandil trae el hijo de la. El baby sí, como está pensando en el chamaco si le dieron de comer o no. Se le cayó esta madre y ya me la mandó a la chingada. Oh. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, catracho? No puede resolverla, o sea, a ver. Vamos a volver a hacerlo, ¿no? Otra vez. Hay que volverla a hacer. A veces nos pasa. Ya para entregarla, papá. Ese es el peor de los problemas. Dígale, no, mi hermano, que no la riega. Ahí la regó con la cartera. No perdió la cartera. ¿no? Perdió la cartera, güey. Bueno, mientras no pierdas otra cosa, todo está bien. La cartera, como que al rato se recupera. No, perdí mi celular también. ¡Ta madre! Saliendo, madre. Puras fallas, man. Puras pinches fallas aquí. Vamos a hacer una pinche playera, eh. Puras fallas. Pero agarré otro celular, ya. Eso quiere decir, hay billetes. I'm broke. Hay billetes, sí. Always know I'm broke. So, el pinche catrachito, pues ni pedo. Mira. Se le cayó al padrino. Pum. Es, es que se le estaba pasando la... La rosa Guadalupe. de Guadalupe, güey. Te quería agarrar. Agustina. Cállate. Porque este por las pinches carreras. Ayer lo pintamos, digo, hoy lo vamos a entregar allá para que lo arme Muri. Pues ahora, ahora ya no. Ahora nomás vamos a dejar pendiente la parrilla. Ya estamos. Ya tenemos los gendos. Ya están desarmaditos. Ahorita los vamos a armar. Como debe de ser, mira, como debe de ser bien armado, para que, lo importante es que la parte de acá atrás cuando lo agarres no se sienta ah, raro, o sea, quede no, bien pintado, sí, con pues, más, pero pues. ¿Y ahí qué le está haciendo, Mike? Yo no sabía que iba a ser, pintó la parrilla. Sí, este, pues hicimos un proceso, es, como es plástico, esa parrilla tiene mucha textura, Ajá. porque originalmente viene de textura. So, hay que hacerle un proceso, echar un adhesivo, primer, sealer, pintarla de negro. Ahí vamos a hacer un contraste chingón. El beso es cromado. Bueno, era cromado. Aquí va la parrilla. Vamos a hacer la negra shine. Perdón. Aquí lo más chingón es de que nosotros la desarmamos completamente. Le quitamos todo el desmadre de atrás y la volvemos a soldar. Hay un plástico especial que lo pegas 
no lo quitas. ¿Qué ustedes hacen aquí? Esto lo hacemos aquí. Para que se vea, la parrilla se vea original, todo original. Que nunca fue desarmada. O sea, como si viniera del dealer, así todo viene aquí. Y ahorita que la armes, bueno, esto lo vamos a dejar para que no más arme la pura parrilla, pero ya tenemos esto, que le está quitando unas imperfecciones aquí el catracho. Ajá. Ya para que te la lleves. Le armes todo eso, los mirrors, el del hood, ya está listo. Ajá. Los gendos, vámonos. Ya está. Qué chingón. Pero acá el catracho, pues. pues. El catracho, puras fallas. No lo puedo dejar solo un rato, porque por eso su mamá lo dejó ir, porque dijo, batallo mucho con este chamaco. Cero de problemas, dijo. Ya, dijo, ya estoy harto de no, este. Ya, no, ya, ya no. estoy harto de este pinche catracho, ya lo que quiere es que se vaya ya lejos. Por te fuera matado de un pepeuco, güey. Ya, ¿eh? Catracho perro. Ah, patrocinado por Popo Exclusive, hermano. Va, los grandes de corro. Este cabrón, fíjate que lo admiro, pero ¿cómo se vino de allá de su país? Sin feria, cabrón. Y míralo, ya está haciendo billetes sí. ahorita, ya está mandando feriecita a su mamá. Porque, ¿Qué quieres hacer allá? Tu casita, ¿no? Mi casita, era una casita Así, amiga. Como debe de ser, lo estoy enseñando que invierta su dinero, que no lo mangaste. Ya lo sacamos de las drogas y del alcohol Ajá. y ahora sí ya se va a poner a chingar de nuevo. Gracias a Pablo. Mira ya toda la, toda la raza. Gracias a quién? Gracias a Dios. Eso es todo. Sí. Así debe de ser. Hay que ser agradecidos con Dios, ¿ah? ¿eh? Si no, no nos va bien, güey. Fue a él que le pedí que me diera la entrada. Pues. Dile a tu misma clica que se quiten de ese pedo, que se pongan a jalar. En vez de que andar ahí robando a la gente, robando bicicletas. Hey, un saludo ahí para el robagaína. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, what's the matter with you? <risa> ¿Es tu camarada? Sí, mi camarada. ¿Qué, la, ¿Se la robaba las gallinas para hacer caldo o qué? Sí, no, cuando andaba de bajar a ese animalito, miraba una gallina mal parada, eh. ¡Pum! Solo chimbazo. <risa> y en la olla, ¿verdad? <risa> All right, guys, so there you have it. We're gonna go ahead and leave them those parts. That way we can finish them, get them all ready. And then that way, when we come pick them up, we come pick up everything. That grill's coming out clean. That was unexpected. I didn't know he was gonna do that. I thought it was just gonna be that texture on it, but no, he went ahead and sanded that down and sprayed it black for us. So I thought that was pretty cool. Once we get that, we're gonna take them back, send them back to the truck and get everything on and then give it a nice little wash. But right now, we're with my boy Omar. He's got something. Something big. I'm still working on it right now. I got all the parts over here at Exclusive, but uh, I know this took me me like long time to get it done but for the meantime I decided to make my red GMC if you guys see my channel you know what I'm talking about the new giveaway truck and it's gonna be built from the ground up because this truck needs a lot of work and what, what's your channel that way people it's, can it's uh, Omar LS2 oh man LS2 I'm LS3 <laughs> yeah. eventually I was gonna get an LS2 that's why I picked the name back in the day but this is it, uh, the core support, the motor, everything is inside the shop. I already got mostly all the parts for it. I have a lot of big plans for it, but you know, I don't quit. You know, it just, it takes a while to get things done. So this is gonna be your giveaway? Mm -hmm. I was gonna keep it for myself, but you know, might as well just do a giveaway on it. Fun new projects along the way in the future. So it's all gonna start with this bad girl right here. So there you go guys, like I said, you see it like this now, but remember where it's at. It's at exclusive, you know they're gonna get down with the paint, all the cosmetics, so once you see this truck, it's not gonna look like this when one of y'all wins it. So if you wanna stay in tune with this build, definitely check out Omar's channel. And uh, yeah, it's gonna have a 6 off. Damn, 6 0 that's nice. Well, I actually have it over in the shop right oh, now. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. It's not gonna just look good. It's also gonna be quick. So, man, y'all definitely wanna get into the night giveaway. Show him some love, man. Yeah. He's got, he's, he's been in the game for a while. He's got, he's got a couple builds. He started with a V6 uh, blue truck, right? Turbo Ranch was in there. Yeah, it was quick. It was quick for being a turbo V6. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That thing surprised me. So, uh, definitely check out his channel. But right now, let's go ahead and uh, see what else we get into. We're probably gonna go wash my truck because it is pretty dirty. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. Day two. What is up, guys? We're back. It's actually been a couple days since we went to exclusive, but we're gonna go back because we that parts are finished now. Uh, they would have been done a couple days ago, but you know they messed up and Mr. Agustin didn't want to let them go like that, so he went ahead and fixed it, took care of it. So now they're all good to go. 
So we're gonna run over to exclusive, pick up our parts, and get them installed on the truck. As you can see, it still doesn't have its stuff on. So we're gonna get them installed, let you guys see what all Mr. Augustine did, and uh, obviously have the truck back up and running again with all its pieces. But real quick, guys, what do y'all think? Should I go ahead and change these headlights to the all clear? I've been getting a ton of comments saying that I should do the clear headlights, but I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. So if we have time, we'll probably swing by Project Torque because Freddy does have them in stock. We'll go ahead and pick up some headlights, see how they look. But uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and go to exclusive with Mr. Augustine and pick up our parts. So let's go. All right guys, we're here with Mr. Augustine. He actually went ahead and painted my front grille. He did more than that. He went ahead and took all the texture on the black part and he made it nice and glossy and smooth and he actually went ahead and painted the emblem and it's like a ghost red and with the black chrome so it's a light black on the emblem so it looks like a black chrome with a black grill behind it yeah, yeah. guys it looks so good right now the camera does not do it justice you can kind of see it right there but man if you really want to see it definitely come out to the show yeah. and actually see what Mr. Augustine did. It's definitely gonna highlight that black uh, with the red bezel around it. Man, that's that's a surprise I didn't know. So, thanks to Mr. Augustine. Estamos. Ahí estamos, que, que se vea mamalona. Yeah. <laughs> Porque... No, se Ahorita le vamos a echar, le vamos a poner el rojo, el beso rojo, ya nomás la instala. Ya y todo. esa es la idea, que se vea diferente. Ya. Yeah. Que se vea con tres. Iba a comprar un grill aftermarket, pero ya no, ya. No. Como no me lo hizo así, no, se mira bien. No, ya para qué. Vámonos recio así. <risa> So, ¿Qué le estamos aquí, haciendo aquí? Pues ahorita estamos haciendo el acabado, echándole wax para que ellas tengan el tono que deben de tener. Así se miran definidas y la pintura bien presentable. No se le ve la cocha de naranja. Ajá, es lo que te iba a decir, no se le mira nada, está sí, bien. Bien bonita, ¿va? Ajá, bien fina, va. Bien fina. Okay. Aquí tenemos el, el, el bumper, ¿verdad? El bumper pad. Bump, ese es el bumper, bro. Igual sí. también se le dio el mismo tratamiento para que se mire igual. En el sol, uy, se echa de ver el color, pero al 100, mi hermano. Yeah, no, no, sí. se ve, entonces es una gira. Bien entonces bonita. Puedes mirar ahí en el espejo, ¿verdad? Sí, papi, aquí te tiras la peinada, mi hermano, mira. Oh, oh, Alright guys, so this is what they're doing. They're pretty much sanding everything down, buffing it with the wax and everything like that, making it, giving it that shine, saying it, it doesn't do the, it doesn't leave the orange peel on it. As you can see, some some paint jobs leave the orange peel on it. As you can see, this is all smooth. This is the type of work Mr. Augustine here does at Exclusive. So I definitely strongly recommend it. Look at that guys. Man, smooth like glass. These are obviously the mirror cap, my handles, and then this is tailgate latch. Uh, there's my other handle and this is my bumper pad uh, yeah pretty much everything is nice and smooth definitely looks awesome so all right guys well there we go we got our pieces inside the truck we got all our mirrors we got our mirrors our handles everything's here guys so now all we got to do is take it to the house and go ahead and start assembling the truck thank you to mr papa exclusive always coming through y'all seen the work that he did my on the way on the control aquí en la calle mil avenue 514 Y el número de teléfono es 936-441-0303. Aquí échenos una llamadita, todo lo que es aseguranzas, adelante. Pinturas completas ahorita, por favor, nos hablan. Estamos en Sketchum porque estamos full ahorita. Y no queremos amontonarnos con trabajo que sí, no podemos sacar. Pero ahí estamos. So there you go, guys. Like I said, big shout out to Mr. Exclusive, Mr. Agustin, how I like to call him. Thank you to him for fixing and doing, going above and beyond on that grill. I didn't know he was going to do that with the texture, and I didn't know he was going to go over with the black. So that's just a little extra that he did. So I very much thank him for that. And if y'all want to see the truck, don't forget to hit the On The Gas Show, the October Truck Madness. So, I want to so yeah, if y'all want to get a quote or talk to him about front and paint, He's gonna be there at the show, so make sure to hit him up. Let's come on. Calmate, pinche cerote. No, no es que está aquí mi compa Guri. Es que se le está pasando la novela, man. Ah, se te está pasando la pinche novela, ¿o qué? Hola, man. ¿Te vas a ir a la iglesia? ¿Te vas a ir a la iglesia? ¿Ah? ¿Te vas a ir a la iglesia? No, yo, voy a yo no voy a perder mi tiempo a la iglesia. Vas a ver. Pero ustedes van, ustedes. ¿Vas a ir a la iglesia o no? Sí, claro que sí. ¿Por qué es que no vas a ir a perder el tiempo? No, yo no pierdo mi tiempo ah, en la no, iglesia. Ah, no, bueno, denle gracias a Dios. Sí. No se ve. Y ustedes tienen su tiempo en la Rosa de Guadalupe. <risa> Ya estamos, ¿qué onda? Ya estamos, dale.
tomorrow. What is up guys? So we're back again. We're here at the house. We just got home. I just got home from work. We did went ahead and put the handles on last night. Guys, look at how like how much better that looks. Also, we did the mirror caps. I haven't done the front grill yet. Here's the front grill guys. Check it out. Look how clean that came out. Like I said, he made it all gloss. It's gloss black and then the red is kind of like ghost in. I think that's awesome that he went ahead and made that gloss. Definitely makes it set apart. Also, we went by Project Torque. We picked up the clear headlights and then obviously the bumper. But man, guys, I think those headlights is really what it needs on this truck. I think it's gonna look awesome. I can't tell you how many messages I got on you should do clear headlights. So I went ahead, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. The, guy, the people want it. Let's go ahead and put some clear headlights on my truck. Obviously with the color match, I think it's gonna definitely give it that good look. So we're gonna go ahead and slap everything on. And then I wanna show y'all before it starts to get dark. If not, I wanna take it to a nice lit place where y'all can still see it and everything like that. But let's go ahead and hurry up and get these pieces on. So let's get to it. Guys, the truck is is right in front of me. I think it looks awesome. Even though I didn't get the front bumper color matched, I'm actually liking the way it looks. It looked really, really good. I'm thinking about just leaving it like this. It's something different. And uh, man, those lights, I think it's a perfect touch. And uh, here you go, guys. Here is my truck with its color match. Thanks to Mr. Agustin for the huge, huge help. He got them for me. Everything painted, sanded down. They scuffed up one of the pieces and he didn't want to deliver it like that. He went ahead and repainted it. And I mean, it just looks awesome. So here you go, guys. Here's the new look. <laughs> 